Triple H, but Triple H, again, that veteran instinct came from the play. He worked the legs. He slowed Bobby Lashley down. You saw when Lashley tried that spear, he, he stumbled. But still, Triple H was stunned. But when he got up, he ran the ropes. After he could finally, you know, shake his leg off, Triple H took advantage of Lashley's injury and connected with the pedigree, and that was good enough to get him a free count. So I, I will concede. I will bow to the king. He is the cerebral assassin for a reason. There is no one in this business more cunning than Triple H. No one who knows it inside and out. No one who knows how to make a strategy, how to make a plot quite like Triple H. And this could be the scene we see here at Lashing Back. You notice it. Triple H could very well walk out of Lashing Back. Wait, 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 what the hell? Wait, what? H no! Sledgehammer! Triple H, what are you doing? What? Wait a minute, no, Triple H. I, 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 I picked it up and then he put it down and Triple H picked it and lashed it to his feet and. Oh. I, I Edge. think. Wait. I think Triple H kind of lost sight of what he was actually doing, but there you go. That's what we want to see. Well, that that could have been tragic. That could have been trouble, but Triple H. Cooler heads prevail here tonight. Triple H. What a great show of respect between these two superstars. Give them and a yeah, look. they did. Uh, you know, that could have that could have been ugly. Like you said, I think Triple H kind of kind of lost himself. Then he realized what he almost did and just I mean, there's I'm glad Triple H didn't go that route. I'm very glad that we didn't see that here. Triple H, you know, I, I can't I can't blame him seeing as he's a natural born killer like that, but he he just kind of realized that, you know, he kind of had to Pull back on the reins there a bit. But ladies and gentlemen, speaking of that, let's run it down. The pay-per-view we've all been waiting for. The first of season three, flashing back. And yo, in the, it's going to be for the unification of the WEDF and World Tag Team Champions. The World Tag Team Champions Jericho Show are going to throw hands with SmackDown. WEDF Tag Team Champions, the Million Dollar Congregation. Oh, no, it was the other way around, by the way, Zach. But anyway, also, we have on the SmackDown side, Dolph Ziggler of the newly formed Division One, calling out The Rock, Division One, on a focus to eliminate the entertainer. And now on, and on, the, on the subject of trying to take out the, the, um, the previous generation, Sheamus is challenging Shawn Michaels. And, and here, here, here's oh. your match, O.C. Jax. You will be defending your Intercontinental title against Zack Ryder in a ladder match. Zack Ryder know that I'm undefeated in those matches. Um, apparently, apparently, well, I'm sure he's kind of from at Matt Icon. But also, at, at last match, on the SmackDown side, you will have another, a battle of intense en enemies. A battle of disrespect. And CM Punk will go on one-on-one -on -one with Edge and in the our, our, our main event, the World Heavyweight Champion, last that Andy Jackman spends his time against Kurt Angle in a false can anymore match. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. It's all or nothing. And now for Raw side of the card, the United States Championship match. The Young Hawaiian Hawaiian defends against MVP in a WrestleMania rematch. MVP catching in his rematch pause, trying to regain his title after that six pack challenge loss at WrestleMania. Intense enemies collide here from WrestleMania. AJ Styles trying to defeat John Morrison at any and all costs in an epic of one rematch. You're not going to want to miss that. And speaking of intense rivalries, Zack Starr trying to prove himself as the better wrestler, trying to prove himself as the better man, trying desperately to prove himself better than the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. And with what happened uh, earlier, we'll get to that later. My collide in a first blood match in the epic rematch once again the world's strongest monster goes toe to toe with the monster of it it's going to be explosive and in the big main event everyone's looking forward to the Miz, john cena bobby lashley triple h christian dual cold steve austin six pack challenge wedf championship none of you are going to want to miss that
Flashing back, set to be an explosive night. The whole night is just going to be packed from top to bottom with huge matches, huge implications, and don't forget, at Lashing Back, the new SmackDown general manager will be revealed. Who will take the place of Teddy Long on Friday nights? It can't get any bigger than this. And ladies and gentlemen, speaking of big, speaking of huge, we still have our main event for WrestleMania rematch, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Miz, non-title, one-on-one. These bitter rivals, these hated enemies are going to throw hands, and here comes the champion. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to get down to it. Down to the fight. Yes. This is the perfect send-off to rat or not WrestleMania. Lashing back. Stone Cold Steve Austin is ready for war. Wait a minute, what the hell? What the? Just now, with the attack from behind, it, 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 this match has not yet officially started, and The Miz has laid out Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wait a minute, no, Stone Cold back to his feet. But the I Miz don't even think the Miz even cares. Miz using the surprise advantage here that he got from attacking Stone Cold from behind. I don't even think he cares there's a match. I think oh he just my, knows. Oh my God! Jesus! Miz sent Stone Cold careening head over heels over those steel steps, and now Miz sent Stone Cold into the ring, and here he comes to continue the assault that needed the back of the head, my goodness. You know, Zach, I shouldn't be surprised at this. Last week, these two men were brawling all over the arena. Nobody could break these two up. It took, it took some police force to get these two apart. It, you all said on a riot spot. I don't even think you have to go that far, but I mean, it was that devastating between these two. I mean, I just, this is, these, these two men hate each other. They just despise each other. This is just one of the most personal and loathsome rivalries I have seen in the WWE. I mean, these, these are, they can't go five minutes without trying to kill each other. And you now, see Stone the referee coming back. Look at the referee, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't want to call the match because he knows one of these two men at this point, they're too focused on beating the hell out of each other. Why would you try to call the match? Why? There's a point to it. These two guys are just too busy beating the talk out of each other to even care. Look at that. Move the attack there by the Miz as he continues. And you're right, you just, why? Why are you bother starting to call the match? As soon as you start to ring the bell, someone's going to do something, get themselves disqualified. I don't so think the match why, is so why even try? It hasn't. Referee, referee, he, he like, get me oh. out of this. I don't want these two here. Fuck that. Fuck trying to start the match. No. Referee, referee minding his own business. He, it, he deciding he doesn't get paid nothing. Stone Cold getting thrown to the outside again. Wait, here comes John Cena! The chain gang commander gonna stand up! John Cena! Getting him a piece of the awesome one! John Cena throwing into the Miz, and now Miz fighting back. Miz not backing down. Miz not running scared. But Austin's still on the outside, but Miz putting up a valiant effort, fighting off John Cena at every stop as John Cena, as you saw, came out to defend. Stone Cold Steve Austin trying to get him under control. And, and, and not just that, I don't think that, and not that there's any love or any animosity between John Cena and, and Stone Cold, both no more than usual, but uh, don't forget there's, there is heat between these two. The Miz attacked John Cena after their match last week and now just still throwing hands and wait a minute. No, absolutely, John Cena I agree, but Cena! See, Miz kind of stumbling there. He's just too. Right now, now Austin's back in the ring. Oh man, Austin Cena, Austin Cena are gonna go! Oh no! Oh no! Miz is... He's falling, he's falling under a two-on-one attack from these two! Miz... But he's still slugging it out with both of them! Who is this? And what has he done with the Miz? He is just throwing bombs at everyone! Wait! Look at this! Egos are now starting to collide! Both Cena and Austin want to get their hands on Miz! And hell! I wouldn't blame anybody! Everybody would probably want to get their hands on the Miz after everything this man has done in the past! The Miz is, Miz is probably the most, if not 
He's probably one of in our team, most hated man in the WDF. And now Austin just stomping on Mudhole him, almost shoving him out of the ring. And now here comes Cena throwing hands or throwing bombs on Stone Cold. Things are just getting out of hand. We need some security, but I don't think anybody wants to break him up. You see the referee, he's just like spotless there by Stone Cold. Now Miz just these three men are just tearing each other apart. This has roughly become a preview of lashing back. And now, look at that! Look at that! John Cena with the Luther Express! We are completely... I don't know what to say here. We have lost all control. Raw has been thrown into total and complete anarchy just before the lashing back! Oh, yo, you, you just, you're, you're right! This is, this is insane! This is Bedlam! Anarchy rules here on Raw! I'm thinking to myself, these three guys are fighting themselves. I'm thinking Christian, Triple H, and Bobby Lashley, somewhat being smart here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. That they just, they just remember, uh, wait, wait, no, scratch that. Uh, oh, no. Triple H is like, wait a minute. No, I ain't going to miss out on this one. No, 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 here comes Lashley. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Have we need out here comes Chris. Oh, buddy. Oh, talk about boy. your previews for Lashley back. Yeah, you talk about it. They want to get in on this. They ain't going to miss it. Hell no. Look at this. All six of these men. It's total, complete anarchy. And this is Everyone's down for each other. Triple H and Lashley. Austin. No, right now Austin going after Lashley. Miz is. And then Triple H and Cena. Miz a Christian. All hell has broken loose. Heading into Lashley back. We're running out of time, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you at Lashley back. Good night, Zach everybody. For Zach Shore, I am Oshie Jax. Good night. We'll see you at Lashley back.